see everything gets really stuck. These are my gloves that, um, and I, I use the same brush over and over again so it becomes completely unrecognizable as a brush. There's word immersion, obviously, it's just uh, becoming really involved with the material, material, being immersed in that medium, total immersion, and starting to understand it, understand its philosophy and understand its personality, and being able to actually um, move with it, work with it, and allow yourself to enter into its own experience. All that lovely, ooh, look at it. Um, it's very, very inviting. <laughs> I think I was looking for a way of expression that involved something really um, gorgeous. I really wanted something that was a above and beyond an ordinary experience. Then I went through the process of imagining something that would be gorgeous and round in a, going round a hardware shop, actually literally um, finding the right ingredient that would fit what, I was, what was happening in my head. I hadn't ever heard of this bitumen or um, tins of tar being sold as such. I mean, I saw the, had seen the tarmac on the road and it just fitted what I wanted to deal with and had the right feel to actually use and work with. Whatever the form is, it has a value that we respond to it or don't. It either works or it doesn't, it's as simple as that. And this was just a, a response to the actual um, dimension of the support, the wax. Yeah. Using the material, it's a combination of that. When you start to use the material on the wax, it does something, this metal paint. It's yeah. kind of spreads in quite a satisfying way and it almost invites. People get so emotionally involved with colour. In what way? Oh, can't you do something colourful? You know, and as though it symbolises a state of mind that black doesn't. But to, the, the dark darkness of this is what I am really interested in. It's magnificent. I mean, the darkness is a magnificent, a, a monumental. Uh, it really goes to that edge of what you want to shout about. It seems to be total. Yeah. In an abstract way, it's about total, totality. And if you want to find something out, you're going to have to find that out. Drawing was my great starting point. I, for two years, I drew natural forms solidly. Very tiny snails, shells and almonds and tiny, tiny things, flowers. Um, that, I mean, that's my real love, drawing. Um, so then it was translating that into the paintings. I didn't lose that desire to follow that. I mean, that some of the things that you discover when you observe these natural forms are incredible. The tiny world of a snail's shell. It's like a universal 
um, statement. <laughs> the Fibonacci series and all that has become very um, generalized now, but it, it exists. Um, so it was that kind of understanding that I then wanted to take to the another scale. So I think if you're going to be messy, you have to be incredibly fastidious about the edges. You know, that, that, that's... You have to be fastidious when it's mess within a boundary. So it's literally a, a technical... Everything can direct the direction of a painting. Everything feeds into it. The paintings you've done before, the amount of material you've actually got, the amount of time, the mistakes. There are so many factors that um, you have to weave your way through to the eventual um, discovery of the final painting. It's almost impossible to, to know at the beginning this painting is going to be this. And one has an affinity for the material. That is a given. One has an idea that one wants to explore form. That is a given. Then you have to enter into this area of unknown. When, that's when things start to happen.